A kingpin once told me, if you apply discipline, patience, and finesse to anything you do in life, you'll find success. For those of you who know, this is a story that Dayton, Ohio has been waiting to hear. And I had to tell you from the heart of the Gym City. I'm about to tell you a story about one of the coldest gangsters of his or anyone's time. The man who ran Dayton for years with a titanium fist. From the Soda Bass Projects to being one of the coldest pimps in Ohio. From pushing 200 keys a month to drag racing with his custom built fiberglass 55 Chevy Nomad Wagon Pro Mod race car. Featured on the cover of Superstock Magazine and Hot Rod Magazine labeled the $100,000 shoebox. Accompanied by a $200,000 custom built tractor trailer to haul it. You can find him in the front row of all major fights with sporting diamonds from his mines in Sierra Leone, Africa. On one hand, you'll find a single stone 21 karat pinky ring. And on the other, a single stone 20 karat pinky ring. That's only if he's not wearing his 19 karat canary yellow pinky ring. Around his neck, a 200 karat diamond ram, signifying the sign of Aries. His watch... $100,000 Piaget, all gold with diamonds around the wrist and in his face. Bought at the same jewelry store, Eddie Murphy bought the platinum version while we were at the fight in Vegas. I took a picture with the comedy legend. Now all you hear is these hip-hop artists talking about their pinky rings. Big guy was doing it then. Solomon, one of his old gangster friends from Detroit, was at our house, and Big Guy showed him his jewelry. Solomon told Big Guy, this shit belongs in the Smithsonian Museum. The part of the story the government doesn't want us to tell is how they did everything illegally in their power to put this man away. The dishonorable Judge Rice did everything within his power to make it happen to go along with the prosecutor's bogus case. Big guy, first attorney, Henry Gonzalez out of Miami, told my dad he wouldn't win this case. Only on appeal did he have a chance because this case was bigger than Dayton, bigger than Judge Rice. The government put on professional snitches that we didn't even know, whose sole job was to go to different cities and testify against people in government cases, even if they'd never been involved with these people before. I guess it's hard to call them snitches if you've never met before. But those were the rats they had testifying against Big Guy. Oh, did I mention his own nephew testified against him? Who am I talking about, you ask? The legend is no other than Stuart Thomas Norman Jr., known as Bugs Norman, Big Bugs Norman, or Big Guy. Who am I to tell this story? I'm only this guy, Stuart Thomas Norman III, known as Lil Bugs Norman, LB or Lil Bugsy. With this story, I'm going to give you the insight of the book, Son of a Kingpin, so you can put the faces with the names in the book. Speaking of faces, this is Wilbur Herc Norman Jr., the motherfucking rat who testified against his own uncle. The man who put him on a pedestal and allowed him to sell as many kilos Dayton can handle. He puts a 750 BMW, a custom vet, and was known for bringing MC Hammer and the likes of NWA to Dayton. This fucking rat had it made. Come to find out the sole purpose for his release in fed custody was to bust his Uncle Bugs Norman. I'll dive deeper into this rat story and tell you how the feds got him to testify against his own uncle, my pops. Remember his name because he'll only be acknowledged as the rat in this story. Until then, I'll leave you with this. Nigga about to finalize some things. Nigga about to finalize some things. Motherfuckers. 
Cut they motherfucking tongue out. Cut they motherfucking tongue out. This is dedicated to a bitch for life. Straight snitch for life. Could have been rich for life. Wanna be big boy or fake it moves with the famous. Shit's amazing. Can't believe that you betrayed us. Try to play us. Motherfucker, you can't win. Should've never let your ass in. A life full of sin was too much. Too plus for your petty mind. You wasn't ready for that heavy crime. The heavenly design. Fucking with these street gangsters. Ain't no joke. There wasn't no hope. And you could see you with the cell code. Hope when the fans hit. Game a list. All the niggas that you ran with. Niggas, people you stand with. You fall with. Motherfuckers come at me. Give me triple life. I never saw shit. But I saw you push the 750. Trying to be Frank Nick. Of this whole fucking gym city Money and drugs, diamonds and vets You flex, east to west Cash a big man's checks These millions out of grand Since you try to break us down Not only, only I lie, you take us down. down Nigga, this is for the champions Make a toast, murder the imposters Sir, these motherfuckers try to stop a fan of Wish that you could hear me And hear me clearly I pray to see you dead, motherfucker Sincerely, how would you bite me? Only had never fed you Put you on a pedestal, you should've put your ass in the ditch Should be to a whole nother level of this game and your snitch Bitch don't deserve shit, how could you bite the only hand that ever fed you Put you on a pedestal, you should've put your ass in the ditch Took it to a whole nother level of this game and you snitch Bitch don't deserve shit, be the fly fat nigga on the scene Running the bugs, night you carry bill about a ring, sparkling Put some family benches, rock the mix Smiling and sit, now I plan to make your ass sick You love the flyness and that was it Fight, right, like, make it to Atlantic Try and act like you were so tight Get it down, kicking it with these big, big boys and ballers Talking about the dating operation Nigga call us, calling the fans on a low With your info, handing memos Out of tinted windows and limos Wanting to be the boss or the office, nigga Little B was a boss, nigga Calling this nigga, got jealous Try to shut down these good fellas not me is what you tell us, knowing that you were fellas You tell us and never get count, try to make them suffer Judas is scary, it's scheming, it's easy at the last supper Part-time sucker, full-time buster Cop trying to be a hustler, nigga, blew your cover Second biggest nigga in the city and you buckle Slept with the enemy, straight fuck your uncle Tell me how the fuck you do that Nigga would have smoked you back in the day Riddle me this, how the fuck do you snitch on a man who killed the nigga who snitched on you? You ungrateful rat, you fucking weasel. On one of my visits with my pops, after chopping it up for about an hour, we sat silent, side by side, arm to arm. Then he said, little bugs, Herc used to sleep on my chest as a baby like you did. If I would've known he was gonna do what he did, I would've snapped that nigga's neck as a baby. I have to start by introducing to these guys. This is my mom and my dad. If there ever was a black bonding clot, believe me, they were it. They met when my mom was 19 and my pops was 24 and have been together ever since. They did and saw it all, from almost robbing a bank to send front row all major fights. Pops always had other women, but everybody knew that Jack was the one. This is my big sister, Terry Marzetti. We call her Pip, who partly raised and watched over me while my parents was hustling. From what I can remember, my childhood was rather normal. I do remember staying with my Aunt Doris and my grandmother Big Mama when I was very young. I stayed with my Aunt Doris while my mom was locked up in Canada, which she managed to escape from. But that's a whole nother story in itself. Other than that, pretty much normal. When my mom got out and got on her feet, we moved to Fox Hunt Apartments in Kettering. I had to be six or seven years old, maybe. As a kid, you never questioned how the bills get paid or how your parents buy groceries or even clothes. I just never thought about it, even though my parents never worked. My mom always had suitcases full of suits, and there were always guys coming over to buy those suits. 
Little did I know that she was one of the coldest boosters in the city in her time. I remember becoming old enough to help her carry suitcases to the car if she had to travel to make a sale. My dad was always around, might be gone a night or two. He always had his own place besides where we stayed in Kettering. My parents never worked a nine to five. By the time we moved to the south side, my pops had a brown four-door Nova and my mom had a four-door Chevy Caprice Classic we nicknamed the Grey Ghost. Some real normal family shit. Whatever my parents was doing in the streets, they kept me in a bubble. I played pee-wee football every year and played basketball at the Y. Either one of my cousins, Yante or Mikey, or both during the summer was spending the night over my house. Or I would spend the night over their house on the weekends. Big guy kept me and Mikey at the racetrack because we love racing. My pops had a split-nose Camaro race car when I was six years old. I love that car. The same car he had stolen for insurance money that broke my heart. But little did I know that bigger and better things were to come. As I mentioned earlier, I never questioned what my parents did. That's just what they did and how I grew up. While living in Fox Hunt, my mom bought a new Volvo. My pop started driving a four-door Jag he had taken from one of his partners who owed him money. I guess that's when the question started because I remember telling my dad, one of my friend's parents asked what it was that he did for a living. My pops told me to tell them that he was a professional gambler and a professional race car driver. It was good enough for me, so I ran with it. We moved back to the west side when I was 12 years old. Jefferson Township, actually. Five acres we called the country. The next couple of years was pretty much routine. I went to school, rode my four wheelers with my cousins in Possum Creek, and played with my pit bull Damien. You know, normal kid shit. I did notice whenever I went to different places on the west side, folks always asked me if I was Bug Son. So for the next couple of years, I was known as Bug Son. Not that I knew it meant anything, but everyone around me seemed to think it did. And when I was with my pops on the west side, you could see the respect folks gave him. People always wanted to talk to him or shake his hand. Me, not knowing why or knowing anything other than my pops was a professional racer or a professional gambler. Yep, little did I know. What fascinated me most about the west side was that the young boys had money. Gold chains and cars. I didn't understand how these young cats was living like this. Don't get me wrong, I was doing great at 14. I was making $500 a week for cutting properties we own. My pop's property in Trotwood on Camelot Drive, the country, and the point. That was our car wash on Germantown and Dayton Liberty Road. At 14, you wouldn't think I would have a life-changing moment, but that's just what happened when I met my cousin, Brian Webster. He was my older cousin. He was the one that told me about the crack game, showed me the crack game, and got me involved with the crack game. He used to pick me up and we would go to different girls' houses. Even then, folks would ask me if I was Bug's son, and so would their parents. I remember the conversation with Brian about how everybody knew my old man. He asked me if I knew what my old man did, and of course, I went to the old trusted bag. I told him he was a race car driver and a professional gambler. He laughed so hard he had to pull over, tears streaming down his face. Once he recovered and wiped the tears from his face, he looked at me and said, Yo, dad, run this shit. What shit, I replied. He said, Dope, nigga. The city, nigga. Yo, dad, run this shit. Ice castles, nigga. Against the world, bitch. We mob figures. 
it. Yo, I'm an yeah. underworld crime graduate, black mafia alumni, sky blue infinite tie, black bow tie, beneficiary slash guerrilla military, never leave escaping bullets hit the family, mercenaries high to impel me, just got carried off in carpets, erase their face and fingerprints with the jaw, sulfuric acids, delay they ID, why they wanna try me and my dynasty, about to make sense to me entirely, you write the same to minor league, plan for the penny, independent bulk purchasing, the weight on me is strenuous, made me reminisce my first trip to NY, half a mil to buy, A's and Y, from the other side of the Atlantic, from the French nigga that run the whole planet, African descent, American connect this bitch in Egypt, freak chick with a chip on the shoulder due to a gender, besides that she was close to send me home with the winner, instantaneous combustion, niggas got hot, venomous niggas discussing with them where I get rocked, but if you rock me, ain't no way to stop the family, continue, we all to the death, scroll across bone symptoms, seminal criminals with highly questionable morals and ethical choices like like mother, your mama, son, torso Ain't nobody getting they right fucking mind And he wrote, dealing with these mob figures in drama mode We mob figures in drama mode Ready to uh. explode You don't wanna get left cold uh. Icicle clips, give niggas the chills Murder the shit, so we'll yeah. bend Until my conscience yeah. clears There ain't one life equal to the price of my demise Fuck with my side, nigga, everybody died From the bottom to the top, uh. top to the bottom When you smile, motherfucker yeah. rock just brought to my attention These snake niggas with numerous faces Heard them alive, now they on the run like Asics Rag to this nigga, we bag Torture for the info Crowbar this dentals in it Distorted the spiritual Gasoline style Smiles, I got vows Put together my sentence like vows He said his pals Got a tape store That's a front for the raw Drug war, what they taking me for I'm out to more This shit changed by my bad There's who gon' see the shop at Down a dirty but polished Like gold from Cardi Optics And I promise to leave these cats and consciously like pajamas Matter of fact, I was with all these spots It's time to get monstrous Bullet spray Till you fully pay me I'm his partner Force me to play the role of five Start a nigga walk and do it I ran contra incident Sparkin' like Flint My whole team got popped When late lens from packing big shit I slap the imprint off a Torah Slogan on the center of your block Sort of 12 gauge your heart up out your chest While you watch These streets taught me mobs and shit My pops taught me marks and shit I for a nine This guy by the click Click acknowledge it We mind figures in trauma mode Ready to explore Yo, you don't wanna get left cold These ice sick clips give niggas the chills Murderous hits for a bit Till my conscience clears They one life equal to the price of my demise Fuck with my side, nigga, everybody dies From the bottom to the top, the top to the bottom When you spot them, motherfucker rock We down to execution mode, retribution Spitting clips to scroll low, sitting, having visions of slow-mo I domes explode, some pretty Tamatino Don't fix the shit, split your footage, hold the fantasy I know, get this shit rolling like BF Notify the unit, activate the movement Get it moving, 20 assassins And two suburbians, make it shit human Fight sticky, plus my right hand got that Poison ivy, itchy, lightning, quick head Trigger reflex, not out of the mix and he's sick According to the informants, these niggas in the for forest Playing whiz, playing view, crazy quiz Or two of those folks who come live Fabby sell shit, living in but still ain't smelling shit Fracking my dealership, millions of risks I'm feeling this, like they're busting up some raw sex Lord of Project Chamber comments, got authorization To protect the whole underworld, economics Fresh demise, capisce, dead they go across the street, fuck trying to creep, let's sweep Eight doors, soon we'll make a heat, no way to run to Niggas' eyes got wide and they one high beams Nigga, fuck your ice cream like face and once your life Come clean, it's a gun thing We ain't fans of butts, we nuts Dynasty master, dying stuss, and I'll be touched Couple hundred rounds later, we cut Boy, the sirens in the distance Left the scene as a reminder Clear the mind of any witness I did this, just a small taste of my vengeance Me and my code of Phoenix, Max, Platinum, Man Express Fuck Benjamin We mind figures in trauma mode Ready to explode you don't wanna get left cold Sight single clips, give niggas the chills Murderous hit for a win Until my conscience clears they ain't One life equal to the price of my demise Fuck with my side, nigga, everybody dies From the bottom to the top, top to the bottom When you spot them, motherfucker rock Nigga, you buy big motherfucker rock 99 remix all the way to 2000 Frank Castle Crunching you with the iceness, the niceness. It's mafia life shit, bitch. It's mafia life shit, bitch. Nigga, it's mafia life shit. You understand?